Hello survivors and welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be looking at the new six star Romanov who has quite a few new little gadgets at his disposal but we're going to look at his rush which is nothing new here but it, I mean it is new but it's just it's just a normal it deals 500% damage to two enemies quite a lot of damage um, in terms of percentages and the fact that it deals it to two obviously is quite a lot uh, this character regains up to 20% of their max HP so a little bit of bonus HP nothing special in terms of the hill um, but we'll look across to his stats now and he has 2,000 base attacks so that that rush instantly becomes 10,000 damage and obviously it's still doing it to two characters where if you compare him to rise to power Rick has around about the same damage but 550% I think it probably it comes up to about 11,000 damage, you know, maybe a bit more. Um, but even if it's like 12,000 damage, Rise to Power Rick only does it to one character, whereas Romanov does it to two. Now this is where he gets the extras, the, the, the bonuses. Here's the first one. Active skill is torn up to three enemies for one turn. And this is very, very strong. I think the best we've had so far in terms of a taunt is taunt one enemy for two turns there might be a two person taunt i'm not 100 percent certain but taunting three enemies for one turn is is amazing uh, this character gains up to 20 percent of their max hp however obviously if they're already max hit health at that point they won't get any heal this will happen before they get attacked by the characters they're taunting which is a is a shame i guess you kind of want to be healed after you get attacked by those characters that's just a little a little side note um now the taunt will work really well with his specialist skill which is berserker brand new specialist skill and it's whenever this character takes damage they gain 20 percent attack until the end of their next turn in addition to any existing attack increases including prior activations of this skill so if romanov is buffed by any buffing character command glenn sr zeke anyone who even even if it's someone who only gives like a small amount of, of damage it will stack with the specialist skill whereas normally buffs don't stack let's say you've got SR Zeke on your team and you also have command Glenn the highest percentage will over will, will be the one that overrides they don't stack together whereas this 20% will stack with whichever one of those is, is active so let's say he does a taunt skill he's a taunt active sorry and he gets attacked three times he's going to get 60 percent attack now let's say he gets zeke's buff which is 60 percent attack again he's got 120 percent bonus attack and that's not including a leader skill and that isn't including what's going to be coming next which is his weapon another 30 percent attack so he's going to have huge amount of output of attack I'd, I'd say in terms of the pure damage he can get on his rush he's probably going to hit the highest numbers if everything's lined up if he's got a couple of hits on him from and he's got berserker buff if he's got um, a buff from one of his teammates and then imagine someone's got a debuff on the enemy like a uh, connor his damage is going to be almost impossible to to you know resist like he's just going to take give deal out so much damage no one can can deal with that now he does have another new feature which again is, is rolling on from the michonne that we had a, a couple of weeks ago um, who had confuse on attack this one is taunt on attack so a better chance to taunt the enemy for two turns so effectively he could taunt an enemy one turn the next turn to use his active skill and then the next turn he could effectively have four people attack him and he gets an extra 80 percent damage just off of his berserker if he gets randomly attacked by that fifth person that's another 100 percent damage on top of any buffs it's, he, he's gonna deal so much damage it's gonna be insane so that's his dossier, and I think he looks pretty good. His defense is pretty low. His HP is pretty high. Um, I would say, basically, off of everything that they're, they're showing you here, he's not going to be great on defense. Or he's going to need such a specific lineup, really, really specific lineup to have any chance, because he's a massive window with his weapon. He hasn't got much defense. And in terms of how you're going to upgrade his weapon, you're probably going to go for AP on attack so you get his rush quickly because it isn't super fast. It's only 76 AP. And then you're probably going to stack damage as much as possible with an extra couple of, what, double 5% on the attack. So he's probably going to be an attacking team sort of extraordinaire. And he probably would only really be good against ranged teams based on the fact that 
if you taunt strong characters, you, you're likely going to be stunned by their stun on attack. However, we are going to test them out on a roadmap, and I am on the last stage of the current roadmap, as you can see here. It is stage 9, and these characters do deal a lot of damage. Now, I have got him behind a Rick, who is going to give him an extra 40% damage, and I have got a Gator here, and the hope is that Gator's buff is going to hit. Um, Romanov and that'll be an extra 75% damage and I'm hoping again to debuff someone with Connor I just want to see this huge number I just want to see this huge number pop up and see what sort of damage we can do so we are going to get some some tough characters and let's see what we can do lots of damage lots of damage okay so here we go hopefully hopefully he gets it does he get it no he doesn't he does not. Okay, we'll just heal up. We'll save it for the next. We'll save it for the next wave. So it'll be a fresh, a fresh wave. Um, who will uh, have to deal with Connor and Romanov? Maybe Gator Buff as well. If he gets it, he is going to get it. That's great. Come on, give it, give it to, give it to Romanov. Did he give it to Romanov? Oh, he didn't again. Got it. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll make sure we get it. Okay, so now I'm going to use... Hmm. I'm going to use the active. That's perfect. That's perfect. So he's going to take three hits. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of some of these other characters. Just get the hills going. And I will eliminate this guy with the rush of... Um, so I've I debuffed their damage now. So that's actually a pretty good combination. Connor and um, Romanov, you can debuff the damage of people who he has taunted. So he will take less damage. That's pretty decent. Um, we'll see what can happen here. So as you can see, he gets plus 73%. I'm not sure why he got 73%. Did he take the damage from Abraham as well? Not 100% certain, but here we go, here we go. This is the first rush. Debuffed, 73% bonus damage, 40% from lead, 30% from weapon. Not bad, not bad. That's a, that's a lot of damage. And that was um, on Sandy. That was her not being debuffed. As you can see, these two have got the debuff. And uh, it's only three characters that get kind of debuffed. I really want to get the rush to go off with Gator. Yes, I really want that to happen. Okay, let's see. He does get it this time. Have you got the buff still? No, let me buff again. It, it's, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Gator, come on. Don't let me down now. I need to be careful. I could do a lot of damage with these debuffs. Next wave, do the same again. Got everything lined up. Oh, perfect, perfect. He should be able to. He's gonna get quite a lot here. Please get, it, please get. It. Did he get? It? He didn't. Oh, that would have been perfect. I hate you, Gator. That would have been absolutely perfect because he's just got the extra bonus right now. Okay, I'm gonna go into taunt again. And I'm going to eliminate you. And debuff you. Okay, I've got two of them.
Okay, so it's 1,700 defense, 3,600 HP. Who's got the highest heat she has? It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. And a lot of damage. And if he gets a buff on him as well, like if he was to get the buff from Gator, it would just be through the roof. I want it to happen once. Please don't let me down, Gator. Please don't let me down. It's cool. Um, okay, I need to get his rush. Okay, this is it. This is the chance. My oh, Katie, you're, you're really, really annoying me. <laughs> One more wave. Don't let me down now, Gator. This is it. Okay, buffs up. Defend, defend, defend. Come on, Gator. Yes, okay, okay. It's meant to be, it's meant to be. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going to um, taunt three. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure if I'll get the buff because I've got um, Guardian Shield on. We'll see if that works or not. Okay, 152% bonus damage. Debuffs are on. Michonne has got 2,000 defense. This is a really good test. 2,000 defense. She has got less defense now because I've debuffed her, but the synergy with this Romanov is to do with Connor's debuff. Okay. Okay, so let me see. Let me see the big damage. Let's go. <laughs> 17k 17k that's with everything happening 152 percent like you could command him now effectively just to do an auto if you really wanted to that's insane that's insane so the damage output obviously is just next level it's next level Seventeen K trait damage and that was on someone with two K defense. And you don't come up against too many range characters unless they're behind an Erica with that sort of defense. So we got our bag. Let's open the bag. So I think he's pretty good. I think he's pretty good. But I think he's kind of limited to being an attacking character. Um unless you've got like a you're you're struggling on attack, I'm not sure. I don't think he's going to be ultra useful on defense, um, but I mean, he could be. He, like I said, he, unless you can get a particular team around him, he could be. I will do a one pull for him. We'll do a one pull for him for a little bit of fun. But that is indeed the, the end of this video. Tell me what you think about this character. He does look amazing. You know, Romanov, all the Romanovs look pretty cool. Um, he has a couple of extra things that we've never seen before. Um, we're going to have to kind of wait and see how it works because he could he could have some great synergy with certain characters on defense that can make him really work well. So let's see if we can get him on the one pull. Let's go. Oh, not quite. <laughs> not quite. Okay, so that's the end of the video, guys. Tell me what you think. Are you going to pull for this character? He does look sick, like I already said. Um, new specialist skill new weapon t3 and he has a pretty nice active 
I think in the right with the right setup, I mean behind certain a certain lead, um, if he gets the right buffs on him, he's going to just be immense. I think he's going to destroy Erica teams. Erica's are going to be absolutely annihilated with this guy, especially in combination with Connor. But as I say, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving. Keep on surviving.